the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. We're in the book of 2 Corinthians, and I got some good news. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 1, 21, Now he who establishes us with you in Christ has anointed us is God. Let us pray. Father, may your word go forth in clarity. May your people be edified and may you be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. As I study this man named Paul the Apostle, I have discovered an even deeper insight into the great grace and mercy of our God. And after the Lord, you know, was finished molding and shaping Paul, all he wanted to do was lift up Jesus. No matter if he was beaten, stoned, shipwrecked, and even robbed, it didn't change his witness. And in our text today, Paul is being accused by the men of Corinth of not being reliable, but he quickly shifted the attention off him and began to speak of Christ who had changed his life. And that's a word for us. It matters not the opinion of men when it comes to what God has called us to do. For people are going to talk behind your back. They're going to plot against you. Hallelujah. They might even intentionally try to hurt you, but we must be those that remember that it is God by his merciful grace that has empowered us. It says over in the book of Romans, the 8th chapter and the 18th verse, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Paul lets us know that yes, there's glory in heaven when we get to heaven, but there's some glory in us right now. The enemy wants to beat it out. I came to tell you tonight, but we must be those that understand that it is God who has established us in Christ. Uh, he helps us to stand firm and he stabilizes us. Uh, and Jesus has given us everything that we need. And I want you to know tonight that's good news. And then he went a little further and he anointed us. You know, just like the Old Testament prophets and kings, he anointed us and empowered us for service. Jesus completed all the Father gave him to do. Hallelujah. He took our place and because he did, uh, we can do also what God has called us to do. And I want you to know tonight, that's good news.